Here's a quick run through the guitar solo for I Am A Wild Party. Okay, so let's jump right in. Uh, here's the 12th fret for your reference point. Um, we're starting on the third string of the 12th fret and just bending that one note up. So right after that, you want to jump right into your artificial harmonic. Now, for those of you who don't know how to do artificial harmonics, you should, there's probably a, a good lesson on that on here on YouTube. But you basically touch the string with uh, your finger kind of as you're picking it. So instead of... You get different harmonics at different points on the string. For me, the, the right one is just... Um, you know, half an inch past the, the first pickup on this Les Paul. And what you want to do is, as you bend that note up, so we're on the same note, uh, third string, 12th fret. <laughs> I can't get it now. You want to, as you're holding, bending and holding it, you just want to put your pinky on that 13th fret of the uh, second string. And then so you're ending on that uh, 12th fret of the fourth string. You want to slide it down, and then we're coming here on the um, fourth fret. Now this part of the, of the solo is a little buried in the mix and it's kind of hard to hear exactly what he's doing. Um, the gist of it though is you're going at 4, 5, 7 on the 4th uh, string and then 4, 5, 7 on the 3rd string. So you're going up and then down. Then as uh, you do that one, you know, twice, once and a half or whatever, and then you just start um, doing those three notes. That's seven, seven, five, and four. And he jumps it up to um, nine, seven, and five. Nine, seven, five. Then he jumps it up again to ten, nine, and seven. And then up to 12, 10, and 9. Um, I'll just do it one more time. And uh, as he ends on here, he kind of does uh, that same idea of those notes on the 4th uh, fret and then on the 3rd fret. He only does that once or twice, though. Uh, so I'll try to play that slowly again. Okay. Um, again, that part's a little sketchy, and you just sort of have to fake your way through it. Then uh, at the end, it's... Yeah, I slowed that down and I learned it note for note, so we're, we're, you're going to learn it note for note too, I guess. Um, that's sliding up to the fifth fret of the sixth string, and we're going to the third fret of the fifth string. So 
same pattern. I'm just moving everything up a string. Okay, is that slow enough? Okay, it took me a long time to get my head around that one, so I'll play it through a couple more times. Didn't quite get it right there. Slow it down a bit more now. 